supremacy. With this particular video, I want to go in further on living out the matrix versus living off the grid. Because I want to clarify it. I love this topic. I'm really allowed to go in with you on this. When you're living off the grid, there's some things that you must do. You must grow your own food. You must have your own power source, self-sustainable. Certain things that you must do. When you're living outside of the matrix, there are no must or have to. There are no rules. There are no regulations. There are no codes. There are no definitions. And there are no consequences. Or you're not con into the sequences that have been propagated by somebody else. You're free when you're out of the matrix to define your own reality. Living outside of the matrix, you are in the moment of creation, of manifestation. So there are no must or have to's or none of that. Living outside of the matrix is living in the endless possibilities of what could be and what could manifest. There are no limitations, infinite possibility of what can happen or what is there. And you entertain those unlimited and endless possibilities within a split second. You live in the entertainment of them versus in the construct that has been created or manifested by somebody else. When you live outside of the matrix, you live in the possibility that there's not even a grid to live outside of it to live out of. The grid no longer exists. If you are still seeing the grid, you're still in the matrix. So it's hard to live out of the matrix, off the grid, because when you go beyond the matrix, the grid no longer is there for you. Infinite and endless possibility is there creative possibility. You go back to scratch because the matrix gave you all the definitions. It told you what was what. It gave you limitations. It gave you codes. It gave you a construct. It gave you something to work with that you've been working with all your life. You can go beyond that. The matrix is when you separate what you believe is real to how you believe what you believe is real exists. That's going beyond the matrix because you can believe what you believe exists, is there, can happen to you. It is a possibility. It is a probability. It is there. But how it exists is where you become liberated. When you find out that where it is generated from, when you find out that what exists is generated from your own consciousness, is generated from within you, created and sustained ultimately by you. And we have created some things that help maintain a construct for other entities that do not work in our favor, that vampirically capitalize, leech, and suck off of our energies based upon what we believe is true. Because once we understand how what we believe is true, then we change what we believe to be true and entertain what is believable 
and what there is to be believed endlessly, thus freeing our consciousness and freeing our mind from the construct that has been created by the others, that has been passed on to us, that has been maintained. The so-called grid, it's no longer outside of us. So you can't live outside of something that is inside of you. So many think they get out the matrix, but they've yet to get the matrix outside of themselves. So in order to live outside of the grid, you have to live outside of your mind. You have to be out of your mind. Because the mind that they gave you is the matrix. It is the grid. It is the limitation, the doubt, the fear, the lack, the construct. Some people, when they hear about me talking about the matrix, they think I'm talking about denying reality. I'm not talking about denying what is real. How it is real is the liberating question. It's not denying it. It's entertaining the possibility and the impossibility simultaneously. You have a thought about what is there. You can equally entertain the absence of its thereness when you go beyond the matrix. You're not just stuck in one dimension of reality. A slave to one aspect of reality, one dimension one paradigm. You have to go beyond that. So once you go beyond the matrix, no grid, you see holes in what was called the grid, and you see the disorganization that they have programmed you to perceive in an organized manner that works for their interests. When you come out of the matrix, you, 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 you see holes. You see the loopholes. You see the, the fragmentations, the mishapses, the glitches. So when you step outside the matrix, you, you, you begin to Create your own code like a hacker that is basically just a composite of glitches that becomes your way out, your complete way out. Holes in the code that lead you all the way out. Like they say, the rabbit hole gets deeper and deeper. Off the grid. Versus out the matrix. Out the matrix is tapping into and transforming your own consciousness. Some people can go and say, I'm going to live on this land, but they carry all the thoughts, the beliefs, and the ideas of the matrix reality on their land. That's why they want to set up their off the grid house just like the house they had in the matrix. They just want it to be self sustainable. They want everything. They want the electricity, the power. They want it to be pretty much the same. They just want to say, I can do this on my own. So, off the grid is just do basically doing the matrix on your own. You're still using the ideas that the matrix have given you, but you're trying to be do it in a self-sustainable manner. Scratch all of that and entertain a possibility of living and existing beyond anything that you have ever seen that has been presented to you or programmed within your mind. That's going beyond the matrix. I just wanted to touch on it a little more. I had to, because this has come up. When you get outside of the matrix, there's nothing that you have to do. You have unlimited options. There is no code. There is no set of rules. There's no instruction manual. None of it exists. 
but the mathematician, the supreme mathematician within yourself is born that can see beyond the complexities that can see beyond what they have put before you. You can entertain endless possibilities truly without fear, lack, doubt, and limitation. Because the, they use fear to force you into only conceptualizing a certain aspect of reality. Even though your intelligence knows, the intelligent aspect of your being knows that there's more. The fear makes you only accept what they have force fed you and given you as truth, as what is, that's just the way it is. Stepping out the matrix will cause a radical shift in your consciousness. It will reset your consciousness. It's the reset button. You can live on the grid, around the grid, off the grid. You can live gridlessly in the grid. Your very existence is destruction of the idea of that there is a grid. Because to believe that man, mankind, this European, this Tamahu, is organized, is, is, is genius, is great enough to perfect a grid, to control everything, to have some control, is to be in the matrix in and of itself. Because Hurricane Matthew don't care nothing about the grid. Tornadoes and earthquakes don't care about the grid. Fukushima didn't care about the grid. So why do you? Because you were programmed to. You must go beyond it and transform and be willing to radicalize your thinking about everything. Say no to the construct. Say no to any and all limitations that have been forced upon you. Question everything. This King Noble Black Supremacy, join my website, www.kingnobleuncensored.com. Donate, show your support.